Every year the first sun rays of early spring warm the ground and with it awakens the tale of life. This story unfolds close to Vienna, in a small protected area of dry grassland, abundant with insect species. Amongst them, the black oil beetle. For the first time in its adult life, the beetle emerges from the ground with a seemingly endless hunger. But for a good reason, the beetle must produce thousands of eggs. And it is in a hurry to do so, as the life of an adult beetle is short-lived and its only goal is to ensure the life of the next generation of oil beetles. While the females are still focused on satisfying their hunger, the males are already on the move in search of a suitable partner. Males are much smaller than egg-bearing females, yet they are the ones that initiate this unique courtship behavior. Although missing an antenna, this male has managed to win the heart of the feeding machine, the female. It does so by caressing the head and neck of the female and gliding the female's antenna through its own. Male antennas are equipped with special U-shaped middle segments, an adaptation allowing for this courtship maneuver. The maneuver itself likely stimulates the female by placing pheromones on the female's antennas. These organs are equipped with an abundance of olfactory sensors. Once the female's antenna have successfully glided through, the male may then slide down the female's back and attempt population. The male will repeatedly climb up and down the female's back, all whilst the female continues to munch in plants, even during mating, as she must maintain a high energy intake due to the energy demand of producing so many eggs. Once the pair has successfully mated, Feasting may finally end. Now she must search for a suitable place to lay her eggs. Moving out in the open might be risky for many insects, but not so for the oil beetle. Its defense mechanism is cantharidin, a highly poisonous substance preventing predators from even touching them. For humans, only one oil beetle can be fatal. Nevertheless, cantharidin was historically used as an aphrodisiac. Although the adulthood of oil beetles is short, a female may lay eggs up to four times in her lifetime, each time producing so many eggs that they can make up to 40% of her entire body size. After digging a short tunnel in dry soil, she now has a place to lay her eggs. The larvae will all hatch together in late spring. In this first phase of the life, the parasitic phase, Larvae will climb up flowers and herbs and wait for a host. As soon as they feel any vibrations, the larvae reach up into the air and try to hold on to anything they can. The goal, however, is wild bees, that will unintentionally carry the oil beetle larvae back to their beehives, where the beetle larvae can thrive on bee eggs, pollen and nectar. Unfortunately for the beetle larvae, most will never reach a beehive. Parasitic oil beetles are not the only threat to wild bees. Ants are actively hunting them as well. At the last moment, this bee managed to save itself. Its sister, however, was less fortunate.
Here we have an oil beetle larva under the bee's wing, who seems to have missed getting out at the landing spot, the beehive. The rest of the beetle larvae that make it to the beehive will stay underground and nourish themselves there through the winter. Like their parents, they too will emerge in spring to create offspring of their own. The oil beetle's life cycle is complex and fragile, highly dependent on the interaction with wild bees. Should wild bees vanish from this small area due to habitat loss, then the oil beetle will vanish with them. Oil beetles represent a variety of different species that find refuge in this isolated habitat so close to the city of Vienna. Although small, this precious patch of dry grassland is worth protecting.